Welcome everybody, my name is Tommy T 9 and this is the Star Wars Battlefront Kills of the Week. We start with some honourable mentions. First up, Seb Squash has the perfect start to any round. Takes to the sky and a nice pulse cannon snipe. Next up, we've got Pi Masters 314, who doesn't just get one. Picks up a second, can see number three. Plays a bit of possum and then takes to the sky. And picks him off as he tries to jump away. And then we've also got Slick Shoes 965, who again, right at the start of a round, gets two for one with his pulse cannon. Lovely work. Got to see that one more time. Four of them in the air. He manages to pick up two. First kill is a nice double. Last week's winner, Yes Your Votes, gave Alarming Mars 778 the top spot and a place in the kill of the month. And it's going to be down to you once again to vote down below in the comments. When you've seen them all, which your favourite is, I cannot wait to see who you pick. And don't forget, Alarming Mars, get in touch via the comments or email to sort delivery of your t-shirt. And if you want to get involved in this or any other series, it's simple. Just leave a link to your clip down below in the comments. And this could be you next week getting a spot in the kill of the month and also winning yourself a t-shirt. So first up, it's kill A. And it comes from the Rivers editor. Plain as fat, in goes that wrist rocket, getting a huge streak. He's already over 1,400 points in a matter of seconds and still has time to pick up a couple more before making a sharp exit. Next up, it's Kill B. This is Jimmy Numb. Working towards the extraction point, and I'll tell you what, what a phenomenal job he is doing. He's got behind the lines, well actually he's right on the edge of it. And now, he has just seen a huge amount of troopers coming his way. But he's perfectly positioned, they just don't realise he's there. And he starts to take them down, one by one. Right on the limit of the combat zone. But he's making sure he stays when necessary, heals when necessary, and kills exactly when necessary. Awesome work from Jimmy until finally he is taken down. Your choice for kill C comes from Groovy Jedi 21. After already seeing off the legend that is Darth Vader, he is moving onwards, trying to escort R2 all the way to the extraction point in the hangar, but there is a lot of trouble standing in his way. This is Chewie. He is fully up to it. He's already now taken down Boss. Next up is Krennic who doesn't stand a chance either, and they are now moving onwards towards the hangar, where they can take victory. Chewie is definitely leading the way. There it is, awesome work. From the groovy one. Next up it's Kill D and it comes from Just In Case 1701. Through the caves picks up a second kill and then working with Luke confronted by the Emperor and by Dengar and hold on a minute he has just used explosive shock and it looks like he's hit Dengar as he's used his explosive rush, taking down Dengar and then taking Vader and Palpatine at exactly the same time. Unbelievable. Killy comes from a sassy mango. 
This one, it's all about Greedo. Rebel's gonna stand no chance. Lovely work using all of his weapons and tools at his disposal. His health is suffering a little bit, but he's still on the push. Makes his choice to back round. He's top of the leaderboard. MVP for sure this round and look at them all coming this way. <laughs> Lovely work to wipe out all of this rebel scum and another 950 coins added to his streak and he's straight back at it. Definitely going to come out on top and over 80 kills at the end of it. Next, we've got some vehicle takedowns of the week and V5 comes from Delta Godzilla. Now, if one of these takes your fancy as your favourite kill for the week and you want it to progress to the kill of the month, all you need to do is write the letter V and the number of the one that you want to progress. V4 is Hurricane of Ore, who manages to get, yeah, two TIE Fighters to crash and attach each other and then... He shoots to take down the one that was coming straight for him. And I love that explosion in the background. V3 comes from I Am Captain Nemo. Who gets two for one with an ion torpedo and that speeder bike. V2, it's Purple Penguin 64. And this is how you snipe an X-Wing. Love that. And the number one vehicle takedown of the week comes from Legit Link 115. Who is definitely saving the day right at the last to not just take down one speeder. Number two's coming in. And that walker looks in a very bad way, but it's okay. Legit Link has taken that one down as well and definitely saved them for now. Back to the normal kills. Kill F comes from David Ahu. Back here on Hoth. And again, the Rebels are getting wasted. If only Rebels had been taught to look left and right, rather than just charging forwards, they might have stood a chance against David. But luckily for him, they didn't learn that at Rebel School. And there is victory, definitely driven by that streak. Kill G sees Tesco249 back in the top kills of the week, playing as Bosk. And I'll tell you what, whoever is trying to keep score on this one, well, good luck. I definitely lost count about a third of the way in. Many thousands have passed an awesome streak 
with what many think is a little bit too OP Bosk. Your next choice, it's Kill H. This is Griffey Rules 915, and we've got a bit of solo. Nice work with his shoulder charge. Now has some help from Luke as well. Vader is incoming. But he doesn't last much longer. Lovely amount of kills in a very short space of time, including the one and only Vader. Kill I comes from RGR935. Here on the beaches and jungle. He's done a little bit of a sneaky, coming out of the bushes to surprise the rebels. But now he is in trouble. Seven health is all that remains. But that does not bother him. He's still going in to get as many kills as he possibly can. Gets his health back as well. That takes some guts. I know most people would definitely have backed away before even thinking about approaching more than one rebel, let alone three or four of them. Until finally, RGR does bite the sand. And your final choice, it's Kill J, and it comes from Alaman 720-311. And it's Jin on a mission to take down Fett the Emperor and Vader. She may not be a Jedi, she's got support from Skywalker and Solo. And I tell you what, it doesn't matter, because she doesn't need that support. She is all over this, comes into taking down the Emperor. Luke has fallen, and now she's going one-on-one -on -one with Vader. And that truncheon, yeah, you can hear it connecting. And it has done the business. Now, she just needs to find Fett. But unfortunately, she has lost the other support, or the other hero that she had in Solo. So she's going to have to do this. What well, could be the hard way, going up a bounce against the bounty hunter. Who can just stick himself in the sky and definitely give himself an advantage over Jin. But I'll tell you what she has done well. She has grabbed that little hero health. Exactly what was needed because she started taking another pounding. Trying to get the strikes in, but yeah, look, straight to the sky. Again, misses with another swing. She's got to time it right. And they do, and down falls Fett on a fantastic round win, all driven by the efforts of Jin. So there you go, those are your choices. It's now down to you to vote and decide in the comments below which your favourite is and which one should progress to the kill of the month, plus win themselves a T-Triple Nine branded t-shirt. And if you want to get involved in this or any of the other series on the channel, just leave a link to your clip down below in the comments of the most recent video that relates to that clip. So if it's a Star Wars video, make sure it's linked in this video. Battlefield, go to the most recent Battlefield 1, which you can find linked on screen now. You can also see FIFA 17 Goals of the Week linked here, plus follow me on social media. All of those are linked at the bottom of the screen. I've been Tommy T. Teacher 9, thanks for all of your support. I'll speak to you again in the next one.